live starting come on there it is hello friends it's me doom and today it is time to go fishing for my very first time in Kinnick Creek Alaska we're gonna be going after as many salmon as we can during this hour to hour and a half live stream and I apparently did not turn off my phone there we go it is done All right, let's see here. Let me make sure my mic's all set up. Oh, yes. There we go, capsule gain. All right. Can y'all hear me? I hope. Uh, let's see, I have a new friend. Yes, let's confirm, Nima. Phantom and Rabbit are online, that's cool. Um, so first things first, we are going to take an apologize. Hello, Austin. How's it going? Apologize. There is a dog in the background. Yes, that one. Um, let's see here. First things first, we are going to go ahead and buy what we need. We're going to need something that can handle at least roughly 35 pounds. We're going to go need a rod and a reel specifically for that. We're going to go spinning since I already have a 35 pound setup for... Ah, wrong button. There we are. Anyway, spinning rod since I already have a float rod capable of such things. Third page here. How much is that? Is that enough? All uh, right, oh, that's 42 pounds. That's that's even a bit big, but uh, we are going to go ahead. You know what? There's no kill like overkill. Let's do it. All right, so the maximum is going to be 42 there, so I'm going to need a reel. We're going to try to get it as closely matched as possible. The more closely matched your equipment is, the uh, longer your casts are, and the such. Of course, we're going to go with the spin reel. All right, let's see here. All right, we're at 13 pounds max drag there. Let's keep going. It's probably going to be closer to the end. Hornet Swarm 6,000. Uh, 24. Okay, Spirit Double Punch, 26. Thunder Spin. Uh, let's see, how much is that? That's 30? I don't have 30, so, ugh, that sucks. But you know what technically I could do? And get a little extra money. Ah, uh, we are going to do a thing that I'm sure I won't regret. We are going to sell this guy. Alright, so that's 27. We're going to go ahead and that ought to exactly get us to where we need to be and all that. Hey, Nathan! Oh, uh, let's see here. Oh, wait, no, it sells for... Alright, it's premium. Yep, don't do that. Don't do that. That's just... But what we will do, since we got 55 of those dudes... Sorry, this is taking so long. I figured I'd be already all set up and whatnot already, but... Eh, you know. Life. I'll do it! Actually, you know what? So we're still going to need to buy a, a thing for it. Absolutely, that's what I'm here for, and I really appreciate that you appreciate my videos. It actually means a lot more than, than, you, than you might think. Let's see here. Ah. Uh, right. Convert. Yep. Since they're giving away bait coins like candy, I mean, it's technically free cash during this this uh this event so i mean capitalize on that while we can 
Now, let's go ahead, get that spin reel. Uh, let's see here. Oh, right, yeah. I was like, that's awfully cheap. Just a moment here, Magnifin. 28. Ah, oh, do, I, do I want to? Is that gonna... You know what? Let's figure out what's going on over here. Yeah, the hell with it. Let's do what we can with this. 26 packs. Uh, just don't have the, uh, the capability at the moment to afford a ticket there and a license and all that. So we're just going to go ahead and assemble this right quick. There we go. Did I... I bought the rod, right? Rod's in there. Rod's in there. Okay, good. Shaboom. We are going to be taking with us some bullet spinners for sure. Uh, let's see here. Yep, those are already in my backpack. That's good. We're going to be taking um, spawn sacks as well. That's the other one. Because who doesn't like some juicy, delicious spawn sacks? Wait, crap. Spinners, right? Yeah, that's where I was. Okay, looks like I have my, all my bullet spinners in there. They should, those two should do the trick, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, do we have any spawn sacks in here already? Probably not. Got some natural eggs, 75 of them. Got artificial salmon eggs. Uh, well... Shop it is. Go and buy a couple of those dudes. And if I'm not mistaken, I should boom. Actually, I, I don't know if I'm mistaken or not. Right quick, do a thing. Move this out of the way so I can see. Basic license, $1,000. That ought to be just about right. If I've done my math right, uh, let's see. Of course, I have to move this again now. All right, so I did not do my math right, but I'll tell you what, we're going to make a quick stop over to St. Croix to finish up what we need, and then we'll be hitting those salmon post-haste. I mean, technically, we've got all we need for the salmon now. It's just, I ran out of money. Sorry, guys. I do that from time to time. I make these mistakes so that you don't have to. We'll go with that. That sounds that sounds responsible. Buy license. Oh, can I not? <laughs> uh, embarrassing. All right then. Wow, this stream is not going well. All right. The hell with it. Emerald Lake. Need money. Right quick. All right. 9 p.m. I promise this will be over in no time. I got premium, as you guys can see. Uh, that's something I don't normally do, but I figured since I'm going to be doing some finishing up all of my Fishing Planet stuff in the next couple months, and we'll get a thing on every fish, including how to catch uniques on every fish, we'll need that premium. 
So, let's do a friends only room. So if you guys are interested and in the area and you want to join me for a little bit right here before we head to Alaska, then this is the place, this is the time. There we are. It's the time that you can do just that. All right, let's see here. Got my stuff, good, good. And uh, nine. So tell me down in the comments below while we're, while we're wasting a little time here. Do um, you have any interesting fishing stories, either Fishing Planet or real life? I see I got Nathan, Austin, and Vincent. I don't see any of my, any of my, uh, my normal dudes here, so it's good to see some fresh faces for sure. Really? 20 new fish species. Hopefully they're all... You know, I'm thinking... I'm hoping 10 species for the new lake and then another 10 species, um, you know, around the globe kind of situation. Like, I wouldn't mind having a new species here in uh, Emerald Lake. I actually have not looked up any information on the, uh... Yes, please, do that. Go ahead and link it down there. Hopefully it will let you through. I think I have links enabled in the chat. Um... Oh, man, your brother got lucky. Let me tell you. I got a buddy of mine, uh, that actually ended up with a hook in his nose. <laughs> I mean, that took some, some serious luck and or skill. We'll go with skill. I'm going to go ahead and give you the points on that one. We'll just say that you are that talented. Ah, damn it, I'm sorry. Uh, maybe in, in the actual comment section below the video? I'm not sure exactly... So usually my streams go a little bit smoother than this, and we technically we should have been in Alaska, but apparently I didn't do my math right. So apologies. Alright, so I know I've scheduled this stream for an hour, but because of the, uh, the accidental accidentness that has happened, we're going to go ahead and leave it to an hour 30, make sure we get some good quality salmon time in. Yeah, actually, I got a turtle as well. Uh, it's one of the things, like the shell, uh, that you can pick up by dragging your line across the bottom, it's one of those deals. It actually hooks onto the shell of the turtle. Which, of course, doesn't hurt the turtle, but, I mean, it now has a sweet piercing. I do kind of like that they added that into the game, just made it so that things can, shit can happen. Ah, crap, demonetized, I'm sorry, I cursed. Anyway, um, made it so that stuff can happen, and, um, yeah. Oh, I see a light. And also, that's 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 a sauger. All right, new personal bus. Who I got with me? Rabbit. What's up, Rabbit? I'm assuming. I'm assuming. Um, that you're that rabbit is Nathan. I'm using science for this. Um. 
I mean, yeah, just just the the fact that you can waste money in this game even more efficiently now by snagging weeds and catching turtles and all that. Oh, excellent, Muffin Man. Yes, hello. Uh, as soon as I make it to Alaska, I do apologize. Things happened here, and and uh, well, you know. I kind of messed up with my money. Uh, but we will be making it to Alaska here later in the stream, I promise. And I did accept that invite as well, if I'm not mistaken. I had a pending invite here recently, and I'd love to learn everything I can about the uh, the Alaskan lake. Because as it turns out, I've never been. So it'll be a learning experience for me, and hopefully you guys, and then I can turn this knowledge into you know, videos. Ugh. And now... Now the walleye are biting. This is just going swimmingly. You know, I'm an ex I just stomp the crap out of this game normally, but, uh... <clears throat> you know, I'm under pressure now, because I'm live. Yeah. Uh, use narrow spoon three point, or, yeah, the three odd. Uh, uh, or the three ounce. Okay, gotcha. For the, yes, I gotcha. Oh, you got it posted? Awesome. Good, 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 good. Yeah, that'd be really interesting. I, like I said, I haven't seen anything about the new uh, the new update that's coming out for Fishing Planet. But believe me, when it comes out, I am covering it. By the way, we are now at the uh, almost at the twenty minute mark, which is the the uh, the one fifth way through marker for this stream. And it is time for me to mention a few things about the channel. And those things are hold on, give me a sec. Ah, they are right here. Yes. Uh, like the, much like this walleye. Uh, here soon we're going to be doing something called Fishing Planet in Real Life, which is where we pit two, competing, two bleh, competitive teams against each other, one armed with knowledge of the lake that we're going to, and one armed with the knowledge of Fishing Planet only. We're going out in real life and having a fishing competition just to see how accurate Fishing Planet is. And uh, I think it's a good idea, and I hope you guys like it too. I mean, technically I hope the Fishing Planet likes it too, and I pick up a sponsorship. But I mean, you know, that'd be nice. And item number two, here in a couple months, we are going to um, be doing a charity live stream for Save the, Ch Save, Save the Children? Save the Children Foundation, that's one. Sorry, I can't read my own handwriting. Um, uh, basically, it's a charity that goes out and helps parents across, well, I think it's just California, but so we'll say across California, uh, to get different uh, different things that they need and provide them a safe living environment and what they can really do in the future and I know somebody who's gone through this who was a child in Save the Children Foundation and she's the most one of the most amazing people I know and so I figured hey why not sponsor her stuff anyway so we're gonna be doing that sometime soon too I invite you all to come obviously no need to donate but views eyeballs are nice too In case you're wondering why I have a little bit more energy than I normally do, I just chugged, like, a giant 20-liter cup of coffee. So, there's that. That's something I don't normally do. I don't usually soda, and I don't usually coffee, but I need a little extra oomph. I was watching my videos uh, from last year around this time, and I was, I was much more excited then than I am now. Not that I don't, not that I don't like doing YouTube or anything, because I love it. I absolutely love it. All right, so is it Gecko, Gekio, or Gesio? Well, either way. Um, hello. Hello. 
And since you're just joining us, I do apologize. I know it said we would be fishing for salmon and we're in Emerald Lake. Yeah, ran out of money. Uh, that, that happens every now and then. I apologize. And always, it usually happens when I'm on a live stream. So, uh, very soon, salmon will be happening. Just get these damn fish on my hook. Ugh. So do we have anybody who has a has a record here by any chance? Any uh, any fishing planet enthusiasts with um, a story about record breaking fish? I'd, I'd actually like to hear that. It's, it's, uh... Oh no, yeah, I had played around with heading back because I started this with uh, with fifty thousand uh, to set up a new rod and reel situation for Alaska, and I considered just grinding out that next, that next 50,000 to get that, that net. Oh my gosh. That would be so nice. By the way, um, I forgot to mention, there's going to be a new schedule for this channel, and I hope you guys, um, you know, grab a hold of that and run with it, because I like this schedule. It's a nice schedule. We're moving free-to-play Mondays, since I've been taking a little break from it, to um, free-to-play Wednesdays. Um, Fishing Planet will be, hopefully, on Monday, when I'm not streaming, I'll be coming out with a new Fishing Planet video then. And then, any intermittent stuff, or projects that I have on the side, being the video editor that I am, uh, we'll go in between those, and hopefully every Saturday we'll come out with some kind of something new. You know what? You know what? I like that better. Let's do Fishing Planet on Saturday. Let's do Fishing Planet on Saturday. We'll do live stream Mondays. Um, yeah. I'll write that down real quick. Here in just a sec. Fishing Planet on Saturdays, and Free-to-Play Mondays. Ugh. I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> uh, I was really hoping to be in Alaska right now. Thus the title. I'm probably going to end up deleting this live stream. I don't know. I might delete it. I don't think I'm going to delete it. Uh, but I'm going to at least title it something different. But what we are going to do is we are going to make it to Alaska as soon as I have enough money for that. I've already practically made back the trip here, and yeah. Come on, you. Looks like a rabbit's going after the sauger. Come on. It's going to be a butt ton of money. Nope. So need one $3,000 fish. I mean, honestly, I'd be good then. 
Obviously not going to happen. <laughs> Just pull up a walleye with a wad of, wad of cash attached to it. It'll be fine. Yeah, you know, I've been tempted to as well. I did buy a boat, but it was specifically for doing some science when the boats first came out um, on the pike situation over here. Oh, all right. This one's got a little bit of a little bit of oomph to them. So I've never actually been over there, and I think this was actually pre-Sagar release. After the f this fish, I'm going to reel in and see where I'm at money-wise. Then hopefully, be moving on. I'm pretty sure I need a few more, but I just really want to be get this over with. We're almost at the half hour mark, and I'm not in Alaska yet. Uh. Oh, really? Oh, sweet, yeah, sure enough, I see you. Oh, that's cool. Can you cast from the rock where you're at? Uh, right now I am using, that is an excellent question. Nope, wrong button. Uh, we knock things over in a panic. Uh, let's see, let me move this out of the way. I can tell you it's a feather light. Uh, there's a Featherlight 7 foot, and uh, right now I've got the Castillo MG3000. Now, the most important thing about this is we've got an 8 pound test line, 9 pound test max, and a, where is it, an 8 pound test max drag. So that means using 8, 8, and 9, but close to 8, we can maximize our casting distance. Yeah, this, I think that this um, specific setup is, um, or that specific reel there is uh, a premium reel from one of the packages or something, I believe. Yeah, I, 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 I'm not a big fan of spending money on free-to-play games, but I mean, you know. Hang on, that's right, I was going to check my inventory, and hopefully we have as much uh, money as we need to get the hell out of here. I doubt it though. Okay, we are at that. We need that. We have. Nope. Okay, we need another. Ooh, five thousand. That's, that's not. I can. I can. I can get that done. All right. As quickly as possible. Yeah, the sport edition is, I believe, the uh, the premium uh, package deal. Yeah, it, it is exactly the same. It's just one sells for bait coins. <laughs> like, I had the, uh, the Featherlight Rod as well. Um, I don't, I didn't, even though it was a different measurement, I think it was 7.4, I actually didn't notice a f any kind of difference in the cast. Come on, more fish, more quickly, let's go. That makes sense. And also, hello, Childish. 
and or Cody know. Oh, not what I want. Get out of my face. All uh, right, 30 minute mark. So it's time again for one of those things. Sorry guys, for those of you just joining us, uh, yeah, this was supposed to be taking place in Alaska and I spent all of my money because I'm an idiot. So we're getting a little bit more money before we head to, head to Alaska and then we're gonna do Alaska and I promise it's gonna be a thing and then I swear to God I'm going to chop out all of this stuff probably <laughs> uh, on the final edit. But, um, tell you guys right quick about a thing that's going to happen, which is called Fishing Planet in real life. It's going to be going on next month, if, if all goes to plan, where we, where we are going to pit two teams, one armed with knowledge of the lake that we're going to, and one armed with Fishing Planet knowledge only, to catch as many fish as we can, and see just how accurate Fishing Planet is. There we go. There's my half hour plug. That's it. feel like I'd have like 12, maybe 12 to 17 people if I were actually in Alaska right now. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, nice. I actually just caught some catfish here in real life, too. Uh, two weeks ago, I think now. Doing some research for, for the first episode of Fishing Planet IRL. Spoilers. Oh my gosh. Be right back. Sorry guys.
Sorry, guys. Totally work related. Um, that was actually my my uh, uh, um, production assistant, um, Oni. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, I just got this phone, so it's just got the default melody on it. <laughs> just the generic ring. Sorry about that. I'm actually going to mute my phone now. I think that's probably smart. Thought I did that before, but... Uh, phone vibrate. There we go. Come on, just a few more fish. Yeah, I noticed that as well, and hopefully it will last just long enough for me to get that money. If not, I'll just sell some things. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm getting close. As you can tell, I, I, I try to do string management very, fairly well. I gave myself 20 foot extra play and I'm using it until it is gone. I'm, I don't have one with me, unfortunately. A, uh, a, uh, yeah, but I will next time. Uh, when I'm up here on a live stream, specifically, I'm going to try that out, the spoon. It's been a long time since I've actually done research here. When I first started making YouTube videos and I first came here, um, I did a lot of research, but there's been so many updates, especially to the physics engine and the way the fish act and all that other stuff. Yeah, yeah. But I think I can still fill up my keep net in uh in michigan fairly easily i mean i only have 154 pounds i can usually do it on one peak come on fitch let's go oh yeah so uh, a little bit of Bonus channel news, since everyone loves channel news, let me tell you. Um, and I haven't actually been able to do a PSA. My channel has hit the 1,000 subscriber mark, which means... Uh, I am now eligible to be monetized, which is nice. And I know that you guys, everyone, everyone who's ever watched YouTube hates ads. I get it. I get it. But making these videos are expensive. <laughs> I gotta pay $400 a year for the licensing for the video editing software. I've gotta pay $30 every three months for the recording suite. Um, the microphone was $240. And if you can't tell, it's a really nice microphone. And you do all, all kinds of great things with it. But, um, yeah, so I mean, even if this channel this channel does get monetized and there are ads, I mean, stick with it, guys. I, I really appreciate your eyeballs on this stuff and all of the comments, the great comments you guys leave. Uh, from stories to, uh, you know, I have not had a, a, uh, a negative comment since I started this channel. I mean, I may have had one and then I baited them into, you know, commenting more. I was like, well, I'm sorry you feel that way tell me about it and then they commented more which actually brings up the uh the uh the points on the seo score of that video so i mean eh, it is what it is are they i bet you they are i mean it's the final lake it would make sense that it'd be the most difficult i've considered doing twitch but it took me a year and a half to get a thousand followers on uh, on Facebook. On Facebook. <laughs> uh, 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 sorry, dead platform. Anyway, um, on YouTube, 
And, you know. If I could do both at the same time, like if I could do a live stream for YouTube and Twitch at the same time, which I might be able to do, eh, maybe. We'll see. I don't think my computer's quite quite capable of, of uh, sending out multiple signals uh, or multiple video, sig video streams at the same time. I'll be getting a new one here soon. But I built this one for my bare hands, like th with my bare hands three or four years ago, so. It's getting a little, it's getting a little rusty. All right, after this next fish, we're gonna check, and I should be close. Well, I got five percent left on my line. Thank you. I like to think my face is too, but I don't think that's actually the case. But, um, I would love to tell you that I'm a world famous voice actor and all this other stuff, but in reality, uh, it's really hard to get into. Believe me, I've tried for years. But, uh, I mean, you might actually, uh, ooh, 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 actually see what's going on behind the scenes at some point. I might reveal some of my my talented voice work, but, uh, yeah. All right, what is my rod and reel, asks a childish Codino. The rod and reel are, uh, Featherlight 7 foot. To the right, I'm sure you're talking about more around here, right? Um, I have better luck here. Like I say on all my videos, this is my spot. It doesn't have to be, yes, that. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Latom. That is exactly what I'm using. Um, yeah, this is my spot. It doesn't have to be your spot, but you can use it if you want. This is just where I've, you know, have the best luck. And over there is actually, was, used to, actually used to be pre-kayak um, pre fishing my favorite spot, but this spot has seemed to have changed since. Yeah, I mean, I could just come out here with a, like a 25 pound test gear set up, but I don't know. Just reeling fish in. I mean, it's... Eh. <laughs> of course, you're talking about the spot right over here. And when I'm doing lure fishing for these guys, absolutely. That's where I go there. There's a nice deep hole where they just kind of congregate. I need to check my stuff. Okay, I promise. I'll check my stuff after this, and then hopefully... We will have 1,800, and then I can leave, and we can go do things. Or even if we're close, I'll just sell, sell a rod. Yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll sell a rod that I don't need, which I already know which one I don't need, because I can't stand it. Come on, fish! Oh, and on a trophy. All right, where are we at? Oh, okay, I see. I got you just barely to the left. Well, thank you. I like to I like to think that everyone appreciates my rod from time to time. Now, uh, where were we? Fishkeeper 
We're close enough. Yes, we're the hell out of here. Oh, I got a friend's request, and that is from Muffin Man. Yeah, okay, there we go. Confirmed. Dunzo. Um, now, let's get the hell out of here and actually get to what this video is for. Ah. Uh. Nope, I'm not going to repair it. Don't have the money. Thank you. Have a nice day. Okay, set up. We've got that. Yep, to get this guy going. I'm going to need a little extra fundages. I had a great time with this when it worked, but it does not work anymore due to some update, and it is explosively horrible. So we're just going to, just to gonna, just to gonna uh, do that. And same for you. Because I, yeah, have no use for you. You know, I'm just going to hold on to those. Uh, let's see. We are going to Kennet Creek. Finally. Woo. The rod is good. The reel is bad. But I just can't stand using that style of rod. Or that style of, uh, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Let's see here. Advanced Alaska license. $8,000. I have purchased. Excellent. Now we go to this one. Where did I just go? Did I just... Oh my god, did I just... Did I just go back to Emerald Lake? I wasn't paying attention. No! Okay, good. Oh, sorry about the, the loudness there. Woo! Okay. That would have been awful. <laughs> Alright, so I know a thing or two about this lake. And um, I can tell you that this is water. And these are trees. Beyond that... Um, yeah. So let's go ahead and get this guy set up. This is going to be my, my lure fishing setup for this situation. And we're going to need a 25 pound test line. Shaboom. Oh, uh, yeah, that's, that's... Uh, actually, we could probably go about 300, as we are matching fairly well. Uh, we are going to be using a bullet spinner, specifically. Nope. Um, hold on. This dude. Shaboom. And for our ta flo floating tackle, um, we're just going to trade off between floating tackle and this. Oh, nice! Alright, so we got that going. And I'm going to use the power of my knowledge of these fish only, because I've never fished here. If you guys have tips, please feel free. I'm going to be doing a new fr er, a, bleh, friends only room up here. If you'd like to join me, please feel free. Um, Let's see here. We're going to be walking to the left here a little bit, if I'm not mistaken. We're going to be casting downstream, or upstream? Upstream. We're going to be casting upstream. And bringing it back. There we are. This looks like the fastest part of the river, so I think this is where we're going to have our best action. Is right here. Because salmon do things with streams. Okay, 25 pound test. It's going to be put, I'm going to put it right there just to be safe. A little bit of speed on this guy and we are going to do a stop and go. Wait, I just realized that I'm nowhere near peak. <laughs> uh, yeah, hold on. I'm like at the base. I'm at negative peak right now. Come on now. Nah. 
Uh, where is the peak? At the very end of the day. Awesome. And there's a nice night peak. So we are going to go ahead and skip to... I bought that bullet spinner, not at this lake or any other lake, but it's actually at the store, at the shop, in, uh, in the main menu. The store actually changes depending on where you are. Oh, uh, now let's see here. We are going to 7 p.m., yes? Yeah, let's do 7. 7 p.m. Go fishing. Uh, why is my controller not working? Oh, yeah, that's why. Bah. Yeah, there's definitely some kind of action going on over here. We're going to 7 p.m. We're going to be using the current to our advantage. A max cast right over there. The shore all the way to the right. Like I said, this is my first time here. I don't know a lot about what's going on, but I do know the fishing, the, the behavior, blah, 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 behavior of the fish that I'm going after, which are any kind of salmon, really. But um, if I knew exactly where you were talking about, I would be there immediately. Take the shore all the way to the right. That's okay. Shore all the way to the right. All right, what's, what's going on? Okay, let's map. Boom. Shore all the way to the right. That actually makes more sense. Actually, this current's not going to be as strong, so that's good. And we are going to maybe walk out a little this way. Got a little bit more room. That's actually smart. I like this. This is good thinking, Codino. If this is what you meant. If this isn't what you meant, well, I mean, your idea is good, too. <laughs> nope, nope, nope. We're gonna... Ah, that's too much. Can we make it out here to the... To the dude? We can. Oh, nice. All right, let's do it. <laughs> of course. Well, let, 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 let's let's see what's going on here first. Let's uh, let's do a little science. Now, of course, this will turn into a fishing planet. Um, how to catch various salmon series uh, that will finish up Kanik Creek for me what I learned here today. Here in just a bit, we're going to take a little, a little tiny break, and then we're going to be back to the action. But first, I want to tell you guys, uh, and sorry if you guys were here already for this, but uh, it's time to do a little bit of a PSA, since I haven't done a PSA this month, and I'm sorry. Take it down to speed two, that helps me. Unfortunately, speed two will drag along the bottom for me. I just don't have a pow powerful, powerful reel. Unless we want to do straight. Can we do a straight here? Is that a thing? I bet you straight would work. Anyway. Um, Fishing Planet in real life is heading on its way. Uh, the minimum gear setup I would use for this lake is a 25 pound test setup. Uh, that means a, a reel that can do a minimum or a maximum dr uh, drag of 25 or less, or, or more rather, um, a rod that can handle 25 pounds or more. Um, let's see, and a 25 pound test line. That is the absolute minimum that I would go. Now you can catch a lot of these fish in this lake without that. There we go. But, 
Um, for, if you're going for the larger, the larger species. All right, so you said the one all the way to the left. Okay, I'm on the one all the way to the left. I don't know which way to go. I'm sorry, I'm so new at this. Um, and we're now on island one. Island three. So island three would be this guy. I was on this guy, that's one, two, three? Is that what's going on here? Is that what you're saying? If this doesn't work, we're switching to spawn sacks and we're just doing the do. So I know for sure that that works. There is island number three, of which you speak. And there is Muffin Man. Excellent. Gotcha. Hey, nice fish. Alright, let's see where Muffin casts out here. Gotcha. So we're going to be going out there. Unfortunately, the gear that I have, which was bought hastily, is not geared towards maximum maximum cast distance, but it's not too bad. You see, he's already got one. Oh, you know, this makes absolute sense, actually. Crap. Muffin, you're a genius. Alright. Tell me, tell me the secret of your ways. Getting close. <laughs> Show me the way. Looks like you're doing some kind of twitching action, possibly. That is a really annoying bird. Oh, 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 I got a I got a bite. And it scared off the bird. There we go. That seems to be about the max drag I can handle. Yes, yes, no? Yes, perfect. Alright. So now I've got my drag figured out. Let's get this guy back here. And see what we got. Alright, so, fair warning guys, uh, the stream might cut out here in just a sec. Uh, I will promise to pick it immediately back up and give you guys another half hour since I actually just made it out here. That's actually not bad. That is a coho. That's nice. That's good money too. Alright. That's a decent experience. That's nice actually. That might be, I don't know if it's the prime fish out here money-wise, but... I hear a lot about Coho when I'm talking about this lake, so. Coho and Chinook, obviously. So, interesting fact about salmon. Oh, good, it's still going. The stream is still going. That's good. Interesting fact about salmon. Their distinctive red color is not what they look like when they're uh, out in the dew beyond spawning season. That red color is actually their body decaying as they, uh, as they move upstream into the fresh water um, to do their spawning. That's why 
I don't know if you guys have heard this or not, but salmon actually die after after spawning. Uh, yes, I realize it's one o'clock. Thank you, alarm. So, we are here to catch the ultimate in zombie fish. Hopefully. All right, I want to take a quick little five-minute break after this cast. Actually, I'm going to let this cast sit here. I want to take a quick five-minute break. And, guys, I will be right back. Oh. And we're going to do the do. We're going to catch the fish. We're going to do all kinds of crazy things. And and uh, hopefully you all like it. Anyway, be right back. <sighs> And we're back. Sorry about the delay there. I got my headphones on. Or excuse me, my monitor's on. So I can hear myself talk. Ooh, that's nice. I like that. Anyway, moving on. Let's go ahead and get these guys caught and whatnot with some twitching action. Let's get a little bit higher. I seem to strike around mid. Yep, I got a bite there. Slow it down with some twitching action. So guys, now that I'm back, um, who knows what about what on this lake? 
this is my first time here, obviously, unfortunately. Um, and, well, it's going to take me about a week to get these fish in specific mastered. So the more I know, the more quickly the videos will come out. I should tell you what, now that we know that they can be caught with the bullet spinner, which is nice, we are going to... Uh, inventory. Wrong button. There it is. Gonna switch over to this guy. Actually, we're going to, since I only have the one reel, do that number. Switch over to... Is this the one? This is the one, right? Yes, okay. Switch over to this guy. And do, uh, where is it? Fluoro of that one. Yep, okay. Shaboom. And let's see here. Number four odd. You know, I, I think I feel a number five odd would actually be better. Get a big old hook in there. Um, pear shaped float for a little bit of distance, and we are going to be using the spawn sakaru. There we are. And we're going to try this out and see how well they work. Back to fishing. Thank you, friends only room. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Cast out towards this clearing. Now, the current is going to take it. It is a light bait setup, and I've got a heavy, a heavy bobber situation going. The current is going to take it, and we're just going to let it drift, and we're going to see how well this works. Did I even... No, I didn't. This is wrong. Nope. Okay, ignore that. I'm sorry. Haha. <laughs> Never happened. Wrong rod. This is my... My, uh... A patent pending combination for, uh... Walleye. It's like, where's the bobber? There we go. Arctic. No, we need max depth for this. We're going to need 90 inches, or 99 inches, or however many inches there are. All of them. Uh, so, let's us do one of those. And do a one of those. And we're going to let it drift. Current's actually a lot stronger than I thought, but I've got a really heavy floater, so... Or, really light floater. Really incredibly buoyant floater. There we go. Then we'll go with that. I don't know. This water is kind of clear. I don't know if I should have used fluoro or if I should have gone with mono. I think fluoro was like the right choice. And hopefully, this will get us a bite of some sort. I apologize, Muffin, by the way. Uh, I don't know if you can see the stream or not, or if you can even hear me, but uh, if, you're, if you've been talking in-game, I, I can't see it. I've got the, uh, the, the chat window covering it for the stream, and I apologize. But yeah.
I do know that spawn sacks work for this location. I do not, however... Oh, Rabbit, you're here. Hello. Uh, do not, however... know too much about this location in specific. Oh, did it reset me? Am I back on Island 1? I am on Island 1. I'm going to go back to where I was actually getting bites. Over here. <laughs> no! No, I was I was in the right spot. I had one. I don't know. Oh, uh, whatever. So what I don't know about salmon is what prop when the proper peaks are. Like, is it? Oh, did I see? oh, I did. Yes, I have a bite. Come on, you. Like, are they easier to catch in the morning, evening, afternoon? I'm assuming it would actually be the afternoon be the best time to go for them. So days with peaks on the afternoon would probably be for the best. That's how it is with most salmon in this game. I've never fished for salmon in real life because I live in Texas and, you know, that kind of thing. Looks like another coho, yeah? A uni! Ah, oh, look at that, a uni! I caught me a uni, I did! Alright, let's see here. Very nice. All right, so uh, that confirms that apparently evening is the time to catch to catch for unis, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and say that spawn sacks are really good. I should have bought more. So that's definitely going to be in the video. I mean, now here's the thing, guys. These guys are pretty efficient when it comes to money. But I have premium. So that's not going to be the case for everybody. Oh, hold on. Come on, take it. Take it. So I'm not 100% if I'm going to be doing covering all of the fish in this lake. But for sure I'm going to get these guys since I know how to catch a unique. And we're definitely going to be going after the Chinook since it's the largest one in the lake. Actually this one's putting up more of a fight than the last unique, so... We'll see what's going on here. I'm on you.
Oh yeah, that's a big one. Ah, this water's so clear. I love it. Eh, trophy. Okay. So it looks like number five odd hook. A gear setup of at least, what I'm using right now is a 25 pound gear setup. Uh, the, the rod can handle a bit more, but I didn't have enough to buy a reel that could match it. Um, so I'd say at least a 25 pound gear setup for this lake. Now the Chinook are a bit larger, largest lake on, largest lake on this fish, largest fish on this lake rather. Oh, okay, hold on. Uh, you guys may have been talking this entire time. Uh, I'm going to try to reconnect. Okay, hold on. It's not letting me connect to chat. Oh, no. Okay, I am going to do a thing with my phone then and watch myself. <laughs> and try and answer questions that way. I did not realize, guys. I'm sorry. Uh, that I was not getting, yeah, it's not getting any live chat feed. Yeah. All right, let's see here. Gotcha. All right, so they're 40 to 50 credits per pound, so which isn't bad, but, you know, I, I like somewhere around um, at least 100 credits per pound, or, you know, <laughs> anywhere close to it, but, I mean, it's not horrible. It's, it's like catfish, basically. Man, I, I missed a lot on the chat. I apologize, guys. But I'm here now, and I can actually... Yeah. Alright, no luck with that go-around. I'll try again here. Quick thing. All right, Muffin Man says that pink salmon are the best money per pound, but are also really small. That's usually the case. Like the Oregon red band, red, red band trout is the best money-wise. Ah, I'm gonna try to get this going. Let's see here. Um, turn that off. Turn that on. Connecting to YouTube live chat. Come on, connect. Come on, connect. All right, well, I'm going to continue fishing while that is connecting. Hopefully. Probably not, though. All right, well, I was scrolling through the messages I missed. I did see that I am somebody's, I didn't say who, um, somebody's favorite deep voice YouTuber, and thank you. I take a lot of credit, I take, take a lot of pride in my voice. It's handcrafted through many, many Marlboro cigarettes, and, um, and a lot of tequila. <laughs> Don't do drugs, kids. Oh, Muffin Man just picked up a pretty good Chinook. That's cool. All right, 
Yeah, my chat feed is still not registering. That's a shame. Yeah, I've since quit smoking, by the way. I do n I no longer smoke. No longer smoke. I do have a vaporizer with some nicotine in it for emergency situations. Strictly for the nicotine. 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 Anyway, strictly for the nicotine. I'm not. I'm not a cloud chaser, nor a vape nature, or what what have you. Come on, they were hitting so well a moment ago. Alright, it's about to be nighttime, and I don't know how salmon act at night, so what I'm gonna do is figure out what's going on on the next day here. Then, after this day, after this next day is over, we're gonna go ahead and call it. Um, let me see here. When is good time? Oh god, you were right. The peaks here are awful. Um Dear Lord. Yeah. Alright, so So a little thing before you make it out here, remember we're looking for apparently a uh, a partially cloudy day. Not a cloudy day, not a Sunny day, because sunny days suck balls. And, um... Yeah, cloudy's alright, though. I, I can deal with cloudy. But let's go ahead and hit 7 p.m. 7 p.m. is what we're looking for. Yeah, I should have done that. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Is there? I'm gonna try that out. Now I know the pink salmon is the the smaller of the group, but uh, what hook would you use for that? Number five odd? It would probably be closer to three odd, I would assume. Okay, all right then. If I'm not mistaken, he is to your left. We got about five minutes left here, guys. Um, unfortunately, I do have to go do some things today. Otherwise, I do my normal two-hour stream, but 
I did want to give you guys a little extra time here in Alaska since we just weren't able to make it out there because... Oh, crap. Because I'm an idiot and I put the controller down. Come on. Uh, another coho here. That's not bad. Where is everybody? Where did y'all go? Hang on. Oh, okay, okay, they're down there on the, okay, okay. All right, well, let's have a cast or two out there. You should be able to lure them, I would assume. Oh, only works with bobbers. Interesting. Alright, where are you guys? Okay, over there. Gotcha. You have a cast or two over there. And then we're gonna go ahead and call it for the day. Let's see, about 10 inches you said, yeah? Spawn sacks, got them. And you're just casting out that far, huh? <laughs> oh, I've already got some action. Come on, take it. This would be a great ending to the video, just saying. Bring it in just a little bit there. Yes. Nope, did I miss out on that? Damn it. <laughs> Think he got my fish. Alright, one more cast, then we're gonna call it. We're right here at the 90 minute mark, hour and a half. Uh let's see here. Come on. I see you trying to get to it. Just gonna just gonna move it a little bit for you, yeah? Take it. There it is. Perfect. Oh, all right. Pink salmon, hooray. All right, so we know how to catch the pink salmon, which is the least pink out of all of them, as it turns out. Uh, and we know how to catch the coho, and that's a good place to start for the next, uh, for the next couple videos of Von Doom Gaming. But questions still remain, for example, what is, uh, what's the next fish we're going to catch? When is the next video going to come out? Will I actually ever actually stick to a schedule for uploading? Who knows? You can find out the answer, find out the answer to those and more on the next episode of Mondoom Gaming! Uh!